Hello, people. I'm sorry. I had to redo my phone. Um, Because, again, this is kind of challenging doing it online. And it's working now. So, hello, hello, hello. I'm just trying to tag a few people in this because at first it was not working. And then my husband um, told me what to do so I can go ahead and fix it. So, um, I was able to fix it. So, I just wanted to tell you all what the word of the Lord um, said to me on this morning. And what I did was I was able to... I was able to go ahead and hear from the Lord because I'm not going to lie. There are some other things that the Lord has given me. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix my Instagram. There's a lot of things that the Lord has given me that um, basically pertains to a lot of stuff um, that's going on right now. But at the same time, again, there are some other things that the Lord told me that I should go ahead and release. But specifically, he told me... Um, to give you all hope. So I, I'm not going to lie. The word for today is to give you all hope. There are some um, other things that are transpiring right now in the world. And I'm not going to go into that. But the word of the Lord said to give you all hope. So until I get the things that I'm trying to get. Oh my gosh. I'm telling y'all doing live is is very different. It's very different. It's very um, challenging, but I'm going to go ahead and continue to move forward and do what it is the Lord have told me to do. Um, what I do want to say as I'm doing this is to keep the people in your prayer. Keep the people in your prayer who has been, um, who's in the medical field right now. Those who are working like tireless hours. Those who um, are working like even in different stores and stuff like that, that they don't have the option to just go ahead and stay at home. So in the meantime, what the Lord told me to do is, and I'm going to do this real quick, is to show you all some things that I recently read. Um, again, uh, the, the reason why I'm going to show you this, specifically the Lord woke me up. Um, I don't remember what time, I'm not going to lie. I didn't have my eyeglasses on and I couldn't see the clock in my phone. Um, wasn't nearby but specifically when i got up immediately i heard the lord say you know what i should read it exactly as he said it i don't have my notebook he said he's birthing new books that's what the lord said he said i am birthing new books and he i know <laughs> i know what the lord has told me to do but it's not just for me it is for other people too so whatever it is that the lord has told you to do in this hour and in this time frame he specifically said that he is birthing new books. So right before when I was about to prep to go ahead and do this video, the Lord told me um, just to kind of showcase a few things that I have been reading. So I'm just going to believe me, it's a lot, but I'm going to do what I've read within these last three months. So this is one that's called Chronicles of a Champion. And this one is by my newest friend that the Lord have connected me with. And this is by Toshiba York LeBlanc. And this one is called Chronicles of a Champion. I'm telling you all, you want to go ahead and grab this one. And I'll put her information down below once I upload this to um, YouTube. I'll put it down below. And my personal one, myself, um, Breathe on Purpose, which is available personally from me. It's also available on Amazon. Um, but again, if you get it from me... Um, of course, all the proceeds and everything will go straight to me rather than Amazon taking out, you know, their discount. So this one is called Breathe on Purpose, and it's a 21-day devotional. And this one, again, is called Breathe on Purpose. And as of now, sometimes we want to journal and everything in our books and in different things that we have. I know I like to highlight, I like to write, and I like to do different things when I am doing in my book. On top of that, this one, oh my gosh, I truly recommend this one. My husband and I read this one together. And this one is called The Upside of Adversity by Oz Hillman. I'm telling you all, this one here, it's really, really a blessing. And these books that I'm showing you, these are books that I have read and I have completed. And I most likely will visit them again. Um, this one is a faith-based strategy to produce manifestation of your goals. And this one here is by Monique's Corner. 
I'm sorry, I said the wrong name. I'm looking on the back. By Denise. This one is by Miss Denise. And this one you can read like pretty much within an hour. But it has great strategies. It's straight to the point, And I recommend this one as well. This one here, I love this one. Because this one comes from, as well as the next one I'm going to show you, it comes from multiple authors. This one comes from multiple authors. So I can't go through every single one of the authors, but this one is called Dear Young Woman. And this one is the most recent one that came out last year from a lot of, lo a lot of local authors. And this one, oh my gosh, this one is truly a blessing. This one is a blessing. And one of the authors is one of my friends, Bathsheba Madden. So this one here is The Purpose Women. And this one, oh my gosh, it has a collaboration of over 300 women. Of over 300 women. I'm telling you all, that one is such a blessing. I hope you all don't think I'm just doing this to waste time. I'm not. I'm being obedient to what it is the Lord has told me to do. Because what he's doing in this hour is showcasing all the people and all the things that have been transpiring. That we have been putting off. He's telling us that now is the time for us to do this. I apologize if it's like not centered. So he's telling us now is the time. Now is the time for us to do the things he's called us to do. Now this, what I'm about to show you is I, these books I'm about to show you are ones I am about to read and uh, some that I'm already reading right now and I'm in the middle of. So this one here has a lot of meat and has a lot of substance in it. So this one is Prophets and Personal Prophecy by Dr. Bill Heyman. This one is really, really good. Of course, you see the thickness in this one. This one, my God, I can't wait to get into this one. This one is Kingdom Mandate by Abraham John, and he's online. This one, she is living in Texas right now. I don't want to say the wrong thing. And it's called Bounce Back. I personally have spoken with this lady. We have ran into each other more than one time at several events. So this one I am about to start reading. And this is Dr. Bridget Jenkins. You all want to hear this woman. Powerful, powerful testimony, I'm telling you. This one I'm about to start reading purposely. Purposely. I had it put, put aside and the Lord purposely had me to pick this one up. And if you see the title of this one, it simply says, Have You Thanked God Today? Have you thank God today? So I really think this one is going to be such a blessing. It's about Perlene Wells John. I'm telling you. And the Lord told me to revisit mine. I'm not going to lie to you all. Can I be honest with you? I don't want to. Um, I know some people may enjoy listening to themselves and all of that different stuff. Um, so I'm going to be honest. I really don't want to, but I'm going to be obedient to the Lord. So the Lord told me to revisit my own book. Okay, so again, you can purchase this one personally from me um, or you can purchase it on Amazon. This is one I'm about to start reading as well by Apostle Cardell Michael. And I love the title of this one. If you look at it, it's a The Illusionist Mind Games. And I'm telling you right now, the things that's transpiring, this one is really, really, the title is really sticking out to me for this one. Okay. So again, the Lord told me to tell you all, the Lord told me to tell you all, there is hope. That's what he told me to tell you. I don't want to add no extra to that. There is hope. He specifically told me to tell you all, there is hope. There is hope. So I don't want to say the Lord said this, the Lord said that, because again, there's a lot of other things that the Lord has given me. And specifically, he has told me at this hour, at this point in time, on this date, to just release this for right now. So, and I was like, okay, Lord, what do you want me to release to your people? And specifically, he said the word. I'm telling y'all what the Lord said. And that's how I love it because I know that it's him, right? Specifically, he said the word. He said, think about the word. And as I was worshiping this morning, and I'm going to put a link um, once I upload this to YouTube, I'm going to put a link to the bottom. And it's this song. I think I listened to this song probably three to four times all last year for an entire year um this song is called breathe life it's called breathe life my god and as i was worshiping this morning and i was listening to this song specifically the lord specifically says to life is in my word 
So what do we need in order for us to have life, in order for us to believe? The word of the Lord says, life is in my word. He said, my word is life. He said, speak life. Speak life. It gives life. It speaks life. It gives life. And his word is life. And he said to just breathe life. Breathe life. I'm so not lying to y'all. When we did leave out on yesterday for a short period of time, as I was looking outside, I just kept saying, Lord, let, let me breathe in life. Let me breathe in your air. Let me breathe afresh your air. Let me breathe life. So that's what I just kept saying. Let me breathe life. So let me get into the scriptures um, that the Lord told me to give you all to just have hope. Because there are so many people that are like, you know, anxious right now. There are so many people that are you know, in distress right now, there are so many people that just, that a lot of people are just scared right now. I mean, to be honest, a lot of people are, but the word of the Lord says, Isaiah 40 and 31, it says they will, let me stop. Isaiah 40 and 31 says, but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles and they will run and not grow weary. So you cannot get tired. Don't get tired. Let me just keep going. I'm going to keep going. Psalms 18 and 2 says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my savior. God is my rock in whom I will find protection. He is my shield. He is the power that saves me and my place of safety. And that is Psalms 18 and two. And in Psalms 27 and one, it says one of my favorite ones, it says the Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? And that's Psalms 27 and one. I told you I'm going straight from the word of God. So Philippians four, four through eight says, always be full of joy in the Lord. I know y'all probably like, okay, Sonovia, really all of that. I am so not lying to you the past few days and not just the past few days, but the past few days, like I just been like escalated with my joy. Why? Because the Lord says the joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm not making this up y'all in order for you to have joy. You have to have it within first. It comes from within. So anyway, let me go back to the scripture. It says, always be full of joy, says the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all that you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he has done. Then you will experience God's peace. I'm telling y'all, you will experience his peace which exceeds anything you can ever understand. His peace will guard your heart and your mind as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing, fix your thoughts. My God, when I tell you this one, I have been holding on to. Fix your thoughts on what is true, what is honorable, what is right, what is pure, what is lovely, what is admirable. Think on these things, things that are excellent, things that are worthy of praise. I'm telling you what the word of the Lord says. And that's Philippians 4, 4 through 8 and John 14, 27 and 28. Let me tell you what it says. It says, do not let your hearts be troubled. I'm going to say that again. Do not let your hearts be troubled troubled. It says, trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, what I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you when everything is ready, I will come and I will get you so that you will always be with me where I am. I am leaving you with a gift a gift of peace. This is 27 now. This is a gift of peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift that the world cannot give. So don't be afraid and don't be troubled. I'm going to say that again to help some people. Don't be afraid and don't be troubled. 
For it simply says, remember what I have told you. I am going away, but I will come back to you again. If you really loved me, you would be happy that I am going to the father who is greater than I am my God. And I said the scripture, John 14, 27 and 28, that was the latter one. The first one I read was John 14, one through three. And as I was reading that, the Lord reminded me, my God, he's telling me to say it now. That wasn't in my plan, but I I always allow the Holy Spirit to move me and um, allow the Holy Spirit to shift and guide me as he so chooses. Literally two nights ago, I heard strongly, I, that's it. I heard strongly, I, of course, that is a word. I'm telling you, it is a word and it stands alone. I, and soon as I woke up, when I heard it, the Lord said, I am the great I am. I'm going to tell y'all that again. The Lord said, I am the great I am. And I was like, my God. So we must keep our focus on I, not I talking about myself, but who is I? He, the creator, Jehovah, Yahweh, Elohim, Adonai, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, <laughs> Abba, our heavenly father. He is I. He is the great I am. My God. Okay. Second Corinthians four, eight through nine. It says we are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but we are not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We Oh my God, we get knocked down sometimes, but we are not destroyed. And that's second Corinthians four, eight through nine. And first Peter five, seven says, give all your worries to God. I'm paraphrasing it. Give all your worries to God for he cares about us. He cares about you. He cares about me. Give all your worries to God. You know, and I love the past, um, probably the past year now, my family and I, we do this together when the Lord gives me something and, and he downloads it to me and thank God for the people that he has surrounded me by now. Um, when it comes down to the Lord telling you something, grab hold of it in a physical realm. Like pretend you're grabbing hold of it and then you release it in this, um, in the spiritual realm. So you pretending you're grabbing it in the physical and then you pretending you're releasing it. So that's what it is. So grab whatever it is you're worrying about your concerns. You worried about your job. You worried about your business closing. You worried about your children. You worried about whatever it is that you're concerned about. Grab hold of it. And then I want you to release it and give it to God. Say, Lord, I give you this. I'll give myself an example. I, and I pray this daily. Lord, I give you my children. Lord, I give you my marriage. Lord, I give you my friends. Lord God, I give it all to you. We have to do that. I'm telling you, you may think that it's crazy, but everything is in the spiritual first, remember? And then it transpires in the natural, okay? So that was the Lord, okay? So Colossians 3 and 15, it says, and let the peace that comes from Christ Rule in your hearts, for as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. I am telling you all, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. I'm not coming before you as one like I've always had it together. No, no, no. I'm telling you, like, it, it's a process. It's growth. But when I tell you I have overwhelming peace... I have overwhelming peace. I'm not lying to you. It is so, um, I'll just give this little brief testimony. It's so exciting to me because like over a year ago, the Lord specifically told me, he said, Synovia, in this season, you and your family will experience an abundance of joy. I'm telling you. So, um, oh my gosh, I, he just brought something else to my memory. So since he told me that over a year ago, he said, you and your family will experience an abundance of joy. Like literally when we were trying to sell our home last year, the realtor name was joy. And then one of my friends, like literally less than 
maybe about five months ago, I just found out that her mother name is Joy. So I'm telling you how the Lord to just bring things and say, you know what? Because you grabbed hold of that joy, because you grabbed hold of the word that I gave you, Synovia, now let me show you in a physical that it's true. Let me show you how I'm going to continue to bring joy in your life. And I don't mean, you know, again, because they're names, but it's just a reminder. It's just confirmation that he's saying, I am with you. I am giving you peace. So you have to grab hold of the peace. You have to have the faith. You have to have the hope and you have to have the trust in what it is that the Lord is telling you to do. So again, I left off on Colossians 3 and 15. And the Lord also says in Isaiah 26 and 3, he said, I'm sorry, is that what I just read? Yeah, you will keep him in perfect peace. Sorry, I just read that one. So Isaiah 54 and 17, excuse me, Isaiah 54 and 17, it specifically says, sorry, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Isaiah 54 and 17 says, but in that coming day, my God, one of, another one of my favorite scriptures, in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. So let me say it today. In the coming day, what today is? The 24th. On today, 324, 2020, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice that raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord and their vindication will come from me. I, there it goes again, that I, oh my God, the Lord have spoken. I, the great I am. I, the creator. I, Jehovah Jireh. I, Jehovah Nisi. I, oh my God, I can go on and on and on. So the word of the Lord, I'm telling you, he told me to just release is to give you all hope, to give you hope. Just stay focused, stay focused in this time frame. I'm telling you what the Lord is saying. Stay focused in this time frame. So again, if you want to call somebody, text somebody, communicate with somebody, whatever it is, stay focused. Whatever it is that lifts you up, stay focused on the word of God and meditate. You know, I, I'm, I'm one, I can't. Think to myself, hey, everybody is believers. Do I want everybody to be believers? I do. But guess what? We have to spread and show the love of Christ. So if you, I would love for you to meditate on the word of God. But if it's other things that you would like to meditate on, meditate on that. Whatever it is that God has gifted you with, use that. Utilize it. Whatever it is. And I'm making a joke, but I'm serious because I was just texting my cousin earlier. So if the word of the Lord tells you to bake some cookies, and you know I like lemon cakes. I like lemon cookies. And the word of the Lord is telling you to bake, go ahead and bake during this time frame. If the word, I mean the word of the Lord, if the gifts that God has given you, is baking, go ahead and bake. If it's so and so, dancing, uh, drawing, coloring, whatever it is, go ahead and do it. You know, like, cause you know, like, uh, USPS still working. So the stuff could be baked and it could be like shipped. I can like send you my shipping, you know, address. I can, I can send that to you. Okay. But anyway, my point is find something that you love doing that you enjoy doing. And I tell people and I tell my girls all the time, your gifts and your talents from the Lord is something you did not go to school for. It's something that, that just was birthed inside of you that the Lord gave to you. So have hope people of God. That's what I'm, I'm telling you have hope, trust and believe. <laughs> oh, I see she on there. I didn't even, normally I try not to look at the comments, but I just saw it. Yes. So I would take those cookies anytime, you know, and if your mom want to throw some gumbo in there, that's fine with me too. But anyway, make sure you know that you do what it is that the Lord has gifted you and telling you within this time frame so that you can use it. So you're not bored. You're not frustrated. You're not watching the news every 30 minutes and you're not trying to figure out how many people has this in your parish. How how many people has died? How many people has been diagnosed? Stop doing all of that. Just, you know, try your best to stick to the norm or try your best to even go outside of your comfort, comfort zone to do, you know, something different. Cause we about to go knock the dust off some of our board games. But yesterday we went to the store and guess what? I wish I had it in front of me. My husband and I have a coloring book. We going to have a coloring contest against each other. We about to go some, with some old school stuff. We have a coloring book. My girls have puzzles. We about to go put puzzles together. There are so many different things you could do that may 
maybe you haven't done in a long time that you can just pick up and start doing okay so and again just cover your family cover your friends cover your loved ones you know um I declare the blood of Jesus over your home, over your family, you know, like just in Jesus name, over your community, over the region, just like in Jesus name. And of course, Isaiah 54 and 17, which states no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. I declare every person that watches this video, every person that I know, every person that hears the sound of my voice, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. If you receive the word of the Lord, just simply say, I receive. Okay, so I want to leave you off with this testimony because I didn't want to just give you all that. And then it's like, okay, Sonovia, like, you know, but again, the word of the Lord says hope. So I hope that those scriptures were a blessing to you all because I just basically did what it is the Lord told me to do, which was bring you all scriptures. So let me give you this testimony real quick. Right. So this family, this family, this couple, like literally um, sold a seed into my husband and I life. So when they sold the seed into my husband and I life, they said they had to act with quick obedience, right? So when they acted with the quick obedience and they, they, they didn't even know, like literally right before, literally, I'm telling you probably less than 15 minutes before they came to sow the seed in our life, I was talking to my husband and I was like, okay, well, the light bill do. And I'm like, okay, Lord, you know what we need. I began to listen to worship and I fell asleep with the peace of God in worship. I was not about to sit up and worry. I was not about to be concerned about how you're going to do it, Lord. What's going to transpire? I fell asleep in his peace. I'm telling you. So when they release, when they release the, um, the seeds, in our hands and if you go back in one of my old videos i'll try and put that link to the bottom when they release the seeds in our hands you will know that i declared a double portion over their lives so when i declared a double portion over their lives okay i have to repent for this because specifically the lord told me to tell them um expect a double portion within 24 hours and i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not one that do that and, and i was wrestling with that like lord is that you do you want me to really say that because i don't you know say stuff like that you know whatever so i'm telling you i was convicted of that so my husband and i prayed when i prayed i declared it then i declared a release in less than 24 hours over their life I'm telling you, God, and the reason why I'm telling you this, I'm not finished yet. I'm telling you this because you need to still hold on to his promises. His promises are still true. His promises are still coming to pass. His promises are still yes and amen. God's word has not changed. That's why he told me to bring you all the word on today so that you can have hope. His promises has not changed and it will not change because of what's transpiring. So that's why you need to keep your focus on what it is the Lord is saying back to my story so i declared less than 24 hours double portion on their lives and lo and behold the next morning not even 20 not even probably 12 hours i received a phone call stating that they received an unexpected blessing that was sold into their lives unexpected unexpected and correct me if i'm wrong i believe they say they haven't um like received from this person before or if they did it had been like oh you know what they never had would have expected it from that person if i'm from right so they received and then I, I i'm telling you when i got off the phone i said my god you're doing it you're doing it you're doing it your promises are coming to pass your promises are coming to pass and then soon after that i'm telling you i told my husband i said my god i said it's not the full double portion yet i said where's the rest where's the rest i'm telling you i didn't tell it to the person yet i was like where's the rest it's not the full double portion yet and then of course lo and behold about two or three days later more than double portion because I, I i told my friend the other day when god does stuff my god he releases it in abundance when our god does stuff he releases it in abundance why in john 10 and 10 it says <laughs> For Jesus came so that we may have life and live it more, what? Abundantly. And when I looked up that word abundantly a few years ago, abundantly mean profuse amount, copious amount, overflow amount. We cannot compare to what it is that the Lord has for us. And a, um, a, a pastor, a friend, she texted me the other day and she said, Sonovia, I'm telling you right now with you and your family. She said, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard the glory that is about to be revealed in y'all family and 
all I could do was grab hold of that word. All I could do was grab hold of that word that she gave me. And another testimony, I'm telling y'all, I want to give y'all these testimonies to know that God's promises are still coming to pass. People keep coming with all this bad news, bad news. Let me give you some good news, good news. The good, the good, good father is releasing some good news right now. I'm telling y'all this is the Holy Spirit. So this young lady, my God, this lady lives states away and she's such a blessing in my life. We're a blessing in each other's lives, but she touches my heart every time. She released the seed in my life and, and not just her. She specifically let me know that it was from her children young like little children train them up right so when she released the seed and I text her back and I said my God I said blessings to you and your family and again I told y'all in this season and it's on my other video I'm not going through that the Lord says double portion whoever sows into our lives double portion so when she released the seed she texted me back and that's how she talked she said sissy I'm letting you know that I received the deposit in my bank account from somebody I'm telling y'all, I'm not lying to y'all. Normally when I hear other people say stuff like this, I kind of like give them the side eye. But when I tell you these things have literally been transpiring, these things have literally been taking place in our lives. I am telling you this because the word of the Lord is still true. His word is still true. I'm telling you how there's going to be testimony after testimony on the... <laughs> excuse me, on the things that's coming to pass. The Lord's promises are still coming to pass. What does the word of the Lord says? He's not a man that he should lie. And his word says it will not go out and come back void. Why? Because it will accomplish exactly what it has stated. His promises are true. So I gave y'all those two testimonies. Yes, there are multiple more. I'm telling you, oh my God, I'll be here long, but I don't want to be long. There are multiple more testimonies in the things that have transpired in my husband and I life within the last two weeks. I'm so not lying to you, but I just wanted to give y'all those two testimonies so you can hold on to the word of the Lord. So you can hold on to his promises, whatever it is that he last promised you. And, and, and there's a lot of promises, but there's a specific word that he has promised you for you, whether it's just for you, whether it's for you and your family, Whatever the word of the Lord is that he has promised you, grab hold to that word, write that word down, put it on the wall, put it on a sticky note, put it on your mirror, wherever you need to go. And I'll tell you ours because I have it on the wall. And ours simply is, I want to say the scripture. And the scripture is Isaiah 61 and 7. Isaiah 61 and 7. And it's another one too. Isaiah, I'm telling y'all I have them all over. I have it all over. One of them, Ezekiel 12 and 28, where it says his word will not be delayed anymore. And another one is Isaiah. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to put it down to the bottom. Isaiah, I don't wanna put, say the wrong thing, but the Lord promised double portion. Simple as that. He promised double portion. So that's what it is that my family and I are holding on to. So every time, I'm not lying to y'all. I'm not, oh Lord, I keep saying this, but I say this to my family all the time too. I'm not lying. I'm telling you. Majority of the time, every time when I've been looking at a time, either it's been like 11, 11 or 11, 44 or 12, 12 or 3, 33 or 4, 44. Why? Because he's telling me, Sonovia, hold on to the promises. Hold on to double portion, double portion, double portion. So whatever it is that he has promised you. It will come to pass. His word will not go out and come back void. And he's telling you all to have hope. Have hope in this time frame. And yes, Jesus is coming back. So I'm going to be honest too. I don't know why a lot of people are afraid. Like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Like, um, I don't want to say it wrong. I think it was Paul. I don't even want to quote the wrong thing. Whether it's like, hey, we die here or whether, you know, whatever else happened. It's like, you know, eventually we're going to be with our heavenly father. So what do you really want? This world is not here to last forever. So we have to trust and we have to believe in what the word of the Lord says. And he says, trust in me, trust in me. He says, dwell in me. So have hope, people of God, trust in the word of the Lord and study the word of the Lord and hold on to the promises on what it is he have given you. So I just want to pray right quick. 
Heavenly Father, I thank you right now in the name of Yeshua. I thank you for every single person that has came on. I thank you for the people that will watch this video in the future, Yahweh. I thank you. And again, Lord God, I ask that you would cover their families, cover their friends. Lord God, cover the loved ones. I ask that you would even cover their enemies. You said to pray for our enemies. You said to pray for those who despitefully use us, Lord God. And I cover, Lord God, right now. You said he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Lord God, I ask that you would dwell in their homes, dwell in their hearts, Lord God. You said a thousand shall fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand and nothing shall come near our dwelling place. Heavenly Father, I ask in the name of Yeshua that nothing comes near our dwelling place. I ask in the name of Yeshua that you would send forth your angels to and from to watch over, to protect, to keep, to cover. And I ask in the name of Yeshua right now, every single person that hears the sound of my voice, that you would send forth your God, your spiritual oil. You will send forth your spiritual covering. You will send forth your spiritual blessings over them right now and let them hear your words. Let them hear the sound of your voice, my God. And as I'm looking at the trees, the word of the Lord says, we should be like trees that's planted by the rivers of waters. Lord, let them be like trees that's planted by the rivers of waters that they shall never be moved. Lord God, not by anything that's transpiring in this world, but let us take hold and stand hold and stand strong, Lord God, in your word, in your word. I pray that this blesses you as always, grace and mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God, you're wonderful.